Hello. Hello. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, in today's video, we're going to be talking uh, about regulating, which is why Max is in his body stocking. Um, we'll be covering what regulating is, uh, how Max in particular does it, uh, why it helps him, um, and maybe suggesting some ideas for ways that people can regulate when they're in public uh, and they maybe are not able to do exactly what they need to do. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what is regulating, Max? Well, regulating is, well, something that I need to do when sh stuff have been too much and I need to be on my own for a while and so what kind of things might make you need to regulate say that someone say that someone makes me really really mad and i need a place to calm down okay. well, what about if it's a noisy environment maybe yep yeah or if something has changed like we had a change the other day um with one of his activities we had to do it in a different room um and that then meant afterwards he needed to regulate so how does it feel when you need to regulate how does it feel inside before you before you are able to go and do whatever you need to do scary scary it's like this alarm that goes like that I can hear in my brain and like it says you need to regulate now you need to be in your room away from everyone and then I do that and how does it feel if you're not able to go and do that if you're somewhere you can't get back to your room to do that like say if I'm out in public yeah, so if you're in public or yeah, we're out of the house, how does it how does it make you feel when that alarm goes off and you can't get here? Like I don't know what to do. I need to keep it in. Like I get anxiety. You get anxiety about. Like I'm worried that I might lash out mm -hmm. and make people. make people like like wondering what's wrong with me are you worried that you might do something that embarrasses you as well yeah yeah mm. i can understand that i can understand that yeah so what are some of the ways that you regulate well it's one of the ways that i went what one of the ways that I <laughs> regulate. It's hard to say, isn't it? I was going to say wait you wait. <laughs> Sound like hammer food. Yeah. <laughs> you have other sensory toys as well, don't you, that we can take with us? Yeah, I can mm. I can get the entire bag. Yeah, if you want to. Get the entire yeah. bag. Okay, so what's that? An entire sensory kit. Okay, and how how does that help? Well, it makes me feel more calmer, like this thing. Okay. So you have different things for different senses. So you have some things for touch, some things for sound, some, some things, things for, for smell. Smell, yeah. Smell's a big one for you, isn't it? Bad smells can make you feel really anxious, yeah. and good smells can help you stay calm. What about the lights in here? What do, what do we do with the lights in here to help? Make them green. Yeah. And turn off the light. Yeah. And me being under my weighted blanket. And your weighted blanket really helps, doesn't it? So, do you remember before the pandemic when we used to go shopping in the supermarket? Do you remember what we used to do to help you um, get through the supermarket? Because the supermarket is really bright and noisy. And lots of strong smells and hot and cold and you used to find that quite difficult didn't you yeah so do you remember what we used to do to help you we 
would get a blanket and you would sit under the blanket in the trolley so that you could block out, you'd have your rear defenders on so you could block out the noises and you could block out the lights and be able to be as close to being in your room as you could be. And we've done that in restaurants as well. Mm -hmm. We've gone under the table before and it's yeah. made like a den where you can eat food. And it can be embarrassing as parents to begin with anyway. Mm. It can feel very embarrassing but you have to just try and get used to it. And you have to do what, what your child needs and that's it's hard when you when you see people looking at you and, and or saying things to you as well. Yeah. Um, it can be hard and, and, and you know you're with with friends and family as well and they can say stuff as well and that can be um, be tough. Yeah. How did it feel for you when you had to do those things? When I had to do what? Like go under the table at a restaurant because you were finding it too noisy. I wouldn't really feel that embarrassed. Good. Mm, that's good. That's, that's really what's, good. what's important. Because yeah. you know that that's what you need to do to feel yeah. calm again. Like I don't feel embarrassed. Good. Anything. Good. And if I and if they do say something, I'm just gonna say, "Well, mind your own business. I'm a human being, exactly like you, and I." I need to do what I need to do to keep myself calm. Exactly. Yeah, that's, Absolutely. That's a fantastic thing to, to teach to people. To live by as well. And for, for me and Daddy to to live by. Yeah. So what was it what was it like when say you were at school and oh. you needed to regulate and you couldn't? Or you didn't feel you could. Is that is that right? Did you did you feel like you couldn't? Yeah, I I felt scared. And what were you scared of? People questioning me. But now I've learned what I literally just told you. So you used to feel scared to show how you what to do what you need to do because you want you thought people would ask you why you're doing that. Yeah. And so what sort of things did you used to do when you were at school to try and help yourself stay calm? Well, I try to daydream. To take, just to take yourself away from where you were and think about something nice in your head? Yeah. And did that help? Yeah. So what kind of tips and advice could you give to ch other children to help them with uh, how to regulate? If someone doesn't really know how to do it, how to help themselves yet. Do you think maybe they could get some a selection of sensory toys like this box and see what works for them? Yeah. And what about if they were at school and they needed to regulate and they couldn't? Is there any other tips or suggestions you can you can think of? What instead of daydream? Yeah, there's anything else they could do. Well, one of the things that helped was you guys telling them the stuff that I need, but I was too embarrassed to tell them because I was like... Did you feel like you had to pretend that you were fine even when you weren't? Yeah, I... I, I, I like I did, like I didn't want anyone to find out. Um, that you needed those things. Yeah. What did you think would happen if they did find out? I'd be scared to like um, be like uh, like I would like I would be like uh, I would feel like every single person would question me about stuff and I don't want to get into a little load of questions. You think, were you worried that they wouldn't be your friends still as well? Yeah. Did that happen? Because a lot of your friends now, you tell them about your PDA mm -hmm. and how you feel, don't you? Yeah. And are they still your friends? Yes, but it was like about the stuff that I needed at school. Right. It was, it was more them seeing you doing things that they might not understand mm. like being under a table at a restaurant that sort of thing yeah 
So, because of that... Yeah. You've had a very good idea, haven't you? Yeah. Something that you want to do. What's that? Can you tell everyone about that? Yeah, but... I'm not going to go into full detail. No, I'm worried that... Hush, hush. I'm worried that some some of you... <laughs> I, I, I see you. I, yeah, I see you. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. You, 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 you in the red. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm joking. I, I don't know if any of you are wearing red. I'm, <laughs> I'm just pointing out random people. So what's the idea? Sensory stuff. Okay. So to make our own sensory stuff, yeah. You're not going to properly design mm -hmm. them, and then mm -hmm. we'll we'll get them made, mm -hmm. and then you yeah. can test them out, and hopefully if they're good, other people who might find them helpful can buy them as well. You've got some you've got some fantastic ideas, haven't you, for things that would help, so hopefully we can get that going soon. I hope so. Okay, so is there anything else you want to talk about? Do with regulate um what's what is stimming? Is stimming the same as regulating? Is stimming something that you do to help regulate? Because some people might have heard of stimming. They might not call it regulating, they might call it stimming. We sometimes call it stimming, don't we? Or you come swallow that? Well, that's exactly what we just explained. Stimming, so you, to you, stimming and regulating are the same thing. Yeah, that's okay. what I picture it as. I don't know what any of you picture it as. Do you sometimes need to do stimming before something that you know is going to make you feel anxious to help you get ready for it? Yes. Yeah. So it's not always something you do afterwards when you. Mm. Are already anxious it's something sometimes you do to help yourself get ready to do something yeah yeah sometimes you also need like physical yeah stuff I, as well I like need... pushing and pulling and spinning yeah um, like like i like to do stuff because at school at school you were supposed to have like push and pull yeah but i was i was too scared to like to ask for it yeah did that mean that sometimes you didn't get it when you needed it? Yeah, I I didn't want to like. Did it help when you did get it? Yeah. Did it make you feel calmer? It made me feel really calm. What happens if you don't regulate? If you don't stim? <clears throat> if you keep everything pushed down deep inside for ages and ages and ages? I eventually have a meltdown. And explode and then <clears throat> well then how am i still here <laughs> not actually explode and then after you've had the meltdown do you feel better and like you let it you let it all out yeah i feel way better so in a way meltdowns are a way of regulating when mm. you've not been able to do everything else to help you when there's nothing else that there's no other option left having a meltdown is the way is your way of regulating yeah 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 when you can't do everything that you needed to do then the meltdown becomes inevitable inevitable and the the way to eventually regulate which is really interesting so thanks very much for watching um don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification bell as well um and drop us a comment about anything you want to chat about any ideas you uh, have for ways that you could regulate or your children could regulate um and don't forget to follow our facebook page as well we post there every day at six o'clock give or take the odd day where we don't <laughs> um but most of the time we post uh every day okay thanks very much make sure if you guys have any questions for us we will make a q and a questions and answers video it just yeah. in case if you guys didn't know what it meant um and yeah what if people don't want their question to be answered in public well you tell us that and then we and then we'll make a private voice message yeah you do either a voice message or a video don't you yeah a video you've done that for a few people where you've sent particularly other children as well you've sent yeah like videos back okay Thanks so much for watching and see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.